Every building on the university campus must be carefully assessed for structural damage or other hazards after the February 22nd earthquake. Ten teams of independent engineers are working on the inspections. The first step is looking at the original plans, taking into account each building's age and construction. And then the building itself. First of all, we start by walking around the outside and just trying to see if there's been any signs of obvious movement or damage, particularly if, if there's signs of potential collapse or anything like that. Then we'll go inside. If it's safe to do so. Safe, <laughs> yeah. And just start working our way through, level by level, trying to look at the, the structural elements. Do downstairs first. The Macmillan Brown Building is a research centre that houses a unique collection of rare and specialised books, papers and other artefacts relating to Māori and Pacific studies. So this is all looking quite good. There's no cracks. Sometimes you get cracks coming up from the door, the doors or cracks around where the beams come into the walls, but there's none of that here. Oh, crack. Mm. There are signs of the quake. This is concrete. We do a lot of tapping and stamping. The walkway between the two buildings has taken a good shaking. And many offices are a mess. Saw a lot of this after the first earthquake. But overall, the picture is encouraging. Good. Yeah. We've seen hardly any damage. Yeah, there's a couple of minor cracks, but um, no signs of any anything um, serious so far? No, and uh, the cracks are small enough that they probably won't even require any repair. So, Good news. Yeah, mm -hmm. really good news. There are many more inspections to do, and paperwork too, as a report on each building is filed. And there's a further process to make sure necessary systems, electricity, water, sewerage, are all in working condition. But building by building, the university is moving towards a safe return of staff and students to campus.